kind of stepping back and thinking about this mission in the continuum of human spaceflight, the continuum of uh, the Apollo program, Artemis, you know, I realize you're very busy in training right now, but have you and the crew really given some thoughts to that? And what are your feelings so far as you're starting to navigate that situation? We've definitely given a lot of thoughts about where we stand. And, and to us, really, uh, it's, it's our crews on the International Space Station that we've been crewing for about 24 years now. Um, that is where we feel like we're carrying that torch uh, from, from them forward. Um, and we have said since, since we knew we were flying together, Artemis II is all about Artemis. It is not about Artemis II. It is going out and checking out SLS, Orion, making sure Orion is as ready as it possibly can to do a crewed landing or to start assembling Gateway or whatever the agency needs us to go do next. But it is looking at those next crews and how can we best posture Orion for that. Reed, I was looking at some of your old tweets, which is always kind of <laughs> dangerous. Before, <laughs> before your first space flight, you mentioned you landed on aircraft carriers more than 500 times. You were nervous before each one of them, and that nervousness is not a negative. So going into something like this, going to the far side of the moon, I uh, want to get an idea of uh, your approach and uh, how that kind of attitude uh, matches up with your with your expectation going into the mission. Uh, I was nervous this morning for the announcement, so uh, am I going to be nervous for this mission? Absolutely. I, I mean, but, but I always have found that that nervousness, that adrenaline, it brings you up and it allows you, if it's managed, it allows you to focus. And just being with Christina, Victor, Jeremy today, my crewmates, I already see how we manage each other's uh, adrenaline a little bit, our stress a little bit. I can't wait to go do this mission with those three. And then to talk to our flight controllers and mission controller flight directors on the loops and our Capcoms. Uh, it's going to be an awesome team. As somebody who's flown so many vehicles over the years, what are you most looking forward to with Orion? Uh, with Orion, I'm looking forward to being those first humans that get to sit on Orion and really look at it, not from the perspective of can it get this job done, but can it get the whole job done? I think we are really fired up for that because we know Artemis goes to the moon and then humanity goes to Mars and that gets us going. If I have a chance, you're going to manually fly Orion. Talk about your expectation for that as a test pilot. Uh, it will be amazing to manually fly, but it is very important to me that Victor flies, that Jeremy flies, and that Christina flies. I want as many human hands on this vehicle as possible because this is not being built for a couple of test pilots. This vehicle is being built to send humanity to the moon and onto Mars, and that is the goal.